uh, are you excited about the Audi Q6 e-tron? And as someone who has driven it, it's safe to say that the attention to detail and craftsmanship on display are truly exceptional. And um, from the comfortable, supple leather seats to the uh, expertly assembled bodywork, uh, it's evident that Audi takes this vehicle seriously. Um, so who exactly is the Q6 e-tron for? Um, well, it's ideal for uh, those looking for an electric SUV with a touch of German luxurious ambiance and sophistication. Uh, comparing it to some of its French and Korean competitors, you'll find that the Q6 e-tron offers a quieter ride coupled with a consistent and secure uh, driving experience. Uh, three power versions are currently available. Uh, the e-tron with 240 kilowatts, the e-tron Quattro with 285 kilowatts, and the top-end SQ6 with 380, 509 horsepower. Um, still, um, you may notice that Porsche's Macan proves to be a more suitable choice for the aggressive driver out there. Um, as the Audi researcher I am, I can confidently say that the Q6 e-tron is delectable to experience, and when combined with the luxury of air suspension, the Ryers becomes even more enjoyable. Uh, last but not least, here's a quick rundown of what the Audi Q6 e-tron has to offer. Uh, dimensions, 4,771 millimeter uh, by 1,939 millimeter. Uh, by 1,685 millimeters, uh, 2890 millimeter wheelbase and body. Uh, I don't get that positive way some of the 15 kilowatt hours to kind of compel into this, uh, but it's pretty sure that you would be much testing again. Uh, very, very configure out. Uh, and this is a very kind of recent way. Um, the difference is that this was uh, certainly locked in testing markets, and uh, it Newton meters has seen uh, charging 225 kilowatt CCS, 75.8 kilowatt hours, 270 kilowatts, 10 to 80 percent in 21 minutes, uh, range 533 kilometers, 75.8 kilowatt hours, Red Tyler. 641 kilometers, WLTP, um, weight 2,200 kilograms unladen, um, 2,740 kilograms gross in uh, trunk, EU 526 liters, uh, 64 liters trunk, uh, distinctive style and luxurious feel, what more could you want? Uh, to sum it up, the multi-usable controls of the Q6 e-tron may be slightly complex, but the improved acceleration and overall performance make it well worth considering. Uh, so I'd advise uh, opting for the mid-tier Q6 e-tron with uh, a large battery and quattro dual motors uh, for a truly luxurious experience. Uh, until next time, that is.